welcome everyone this is study zone today i am again here with my new program is about to find simple interest and total amount today we are going to find simple interest and total amount with the help of q basic program okay at first what you need to do is to find simple interest and total amount you should know the formula of simple interest and total amount as you all know that the formula to find simple interest is PTR upon 100 and to find total amount is principal plus simple interest okay now let's begin the program at first CLS always our QVC program starts with CLS after clearing the output screen what we need to do is PTR principal time rate we need to enter principal time rate to enter principal time rate we have input statement okay let's input it input enter principal time rate as PTR three variable we are using small p small t and small r these three variable are numeric variable that helps to store principal time and rate now after entering principal time rate now we are going to use the formula SI is equal to PTR upon 100 now your simple interest is stored in SI variable. Now after calculating simple interest, now we are going to find total amount. For total amount, to store total amount, we are store, we are using TA variable. TA is equal to P plus SI, principal plus SI. After calculating total amount, now we have calculated simple interest and we have calculated total amount now we need to display those simple interest and total amount okay to display now we have print statement now we have we will use print statement and display those output simple interest and total amount okay print inside double inverted comma simple interest semicolon then your simple interest is stored in si variable so si then after now again we need to display now total amount print inside double inverted comma total amount then after ta why ta because your total amount value is stored in ta variable we have already defined here ta variable to store total amount after displaying simple interest and total amount end now our program is end now Let's run the program. Okay, then you need to enter principal time rate. After entering the principal time rate, you will get simple interest and total amount. Thank you very much everyone. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you.